This week, we are bringing you our next County by County, this time Winona edition, starting with a father who, after seeing his son get into a fight, took it upon himself to create a constructive after-school activity. For County by County, Alex Loroff shares the story of the Little Warriors drumline. Tuesdays and Thursdays get pretty loud at the East End Rec Center in Winona. There, you'll find Andre Bailey leading practices of the Little Warriors drumline. The program started in 2019 after Bailey's son had a negative experience at the rec. He was out there fighting outside, and one of the kids videotaped it, and it went viral. And then his principal called me and my wife and was like, hey, you need to see this. And then we saw it. It was my son being demolished, you know, and that broke my heart. Bailey wanted to create a constructive after-school activity for kids. Nobody was utilizing uh, the rec, and I came over here and talked to the lady and asked her, can I have some, can I borrow the space? We were in this room right here, the small room, and then what I did is went out and got some buckets. We was practicing, and I just taught them all individually how to play. Bailey has been involved in marching bands since he was young and was a drum major at Jackson State University. Interest in the program quickly grew, leading to an investment in actual instruments. The first place we performed was on a state. But we performed, on, we performed there on buckets. And I told them the next time we come back, we're going to have drums. So, you know, me and my wife, we come out of our pocket and we bought maybe like $6,000 of drums. And we took off. It just took off ever since then. Little Warriors started with 12 members and now has about 30. Eighth grader Nikolai Volkman has been involved since the beginning. Mainly I decided to like stick with it and stuff because it sounded like something fun to do and I like I started to enjoy it and getting better and stuff. So like once practicing half for like an hour a day, it gets really good and fun. It's weird, like I didn't think that many people would be really interested in it, but then I found out there was a bunch of people. Like I got some of my friends to join, like my one best friend, but he moved and stuff, but he was in the drum line before. And it was nice having people that like I was really close with in the drum line. Volkman has become one of the most versatile members of Little Warriors. I remember I've been on so many different drums. I remember my first drum was the bass drum. I moved up the snare roll time. It was super fun, and I just decided to stick with it for a while. I assumed we could do good things, and yeah, we did. Bailey says he's proud of how Volkman and other members have developed over the years. He hopes the program will help them grow in certain aspects of their lives. Self-esteem, because, you know, this is this a program that builds the kids' self-esteem, and they need that, you know. And, and it's, it's kind of like a, a family, too. I'm teaching them about family, you know, that, you know, each one reach one, each one teach one. All in all, Bailey has one main goal for the kids. I want them to have fun. That's the whole key. Even if they mess up, you're still having fun. Little Warriors has gained great traction in the community since its inception, but Bailey says there's more work to do. I want to get uh, on the west end of town. Those kids don't have this, what we have on the east side. So I'm trying to, my goal is to spread out and get as many kids as I can. Because they are our future, you know, and, uh, and I, I want to I support our future, especially the young folk. The drum line has performed during halftime of Winona State and other area high school games as part of local parades and at festivals like Ashley for the Arts. For County by County, Alex Loroff, First News at 9. The drumline consists of kids between the ages of 6 and 17. The program is free of charge and no drumming experience is required to be part of the group.